Our direct stream DAC is something rather extraordinary. For one thing, any digital to analog converter is capable of converting digital audio to analog audio. So in that case, our, ours is nothing different. But what makes ours so different is its ability to be programmed. And what do I mean by that? Direct stream DACs from PS Audio use a field programmable gate array. An FPGA is a digital device that starts out as a blank slate and a clever programmer can tell it basically to do just about anything. It can be a computer. It can self-drive a car. My, my little electric car is filled with FPGAs. Or it can become a digital to analog converter, a DAC, which is what direct streams are. Now the advantage of that, or the advantages of that are many. I won't go through all of them because I don't want this to be a sales pitch. I just want to I want you to understand what we're doing. By designing a programmable DAC, it allows us right up to the last moment when we launch that DAC to be able to offer the latest in technology of digital to analog conversion. And then once it's out in the field, and let's say you've owned it for a couple of years, we're able to then take what we have learned to bring it to that state-of-the-art point and reprogram in new features. Actually replace the entire DAC with a new DAC with better linearity, lower noise. Anything you can imagine can be done in the DAC because it's just simply a matter of programming. And so what we do that is absolutely unique in the world of DACs, because there are other FPGA DACs, a few of them anyway, and they're rather sophisticated like ours, but we're the only company that actually gives its owners new DACs via a free upgrade process every few months. The last one was Snowmass. What was it, six, seven months ago? We came out with Snowmass and just took the world by storm. People, holy moly, this thing sounds amazing. And now there's Wyndham. And Wyndham is the next peak mountaintop. We name them after Colorado, Colorado 14ers. So Wyndham is the next mountaintop that we're launching today for free to all direct stream owners. And we are so proud of it. And we want you to be able to understand what it is and why you should install it. And again, it's free, so why not? <laughs> In any case, here is an interview with Ted Smith, Direct Streams designer, that he and I did at the top of Flagstaff Mountain that's up above my house. We sat out on the rocks, put our shades on, and I interviewed Ted to find out all we could about Wyndham, DAX, and audio in general. So here's that interview with Ted Smith, our digital genius. Enjoy. We're here at a secret mountaintop location, high in the Rocky Mountains. And look around you. This is amazing. Hi, I'm Paul. And I am here with my good friend and Sonic collaborator, Ted Smith. Ted, say hi. Hi. You got him pretty well trained here. <laughs> We're here together because it's a bit of symbolism to do with mountaintops. And mountaintops are what we call, and the various 14ers throughout Colorado, the upgrades for the direct stream DAC. And these upgrades are amazing because they redefine, they reimagine the DAC every single time. So let's get started. So let's start off by reminding people just what is a DAC? I like to think of it, a lot of people have CD players and the CD players basically come in two pieces. One of them's the transport, it's what spins the disc, and the other piece is what takes the binary bits off of the disc and transforms it into audio digital to audio converter. And I imagine there's plenty of DACs around, I mean, right? I yeah. Mean, there's, there's tons of DACs and we, and, and we all kind of know that. But what makes 
direct stream so different than almost 99% of every other DAC out there? One of the main features is I'm a software guy, so when I built it, I put in an FPGA. An FPGA is a field programmable gate array, and it lets me do all the changing, how the DAC works is all in software. So as we learn more from customers or our ears, we can just go change the software and make it sound better. So in a regular DAC, I mean, you don't have this, this software? No, this no. FP Most DACs are itty bitty chips they, they're built for a very specific purpose. They're in most of the DACs out there, and they're not reprogrammable. They're, they're, if you want to upgrade them, you go buy a new DAC with a new chip. And some of the things that we've done, uh, what, that we call various mountaintops, like we've had, they're all 14ers out here in Colorado. So we've had Snowmass, we've had, what, Huron? Tories. Uh, Tories. And in each of those upgrades, what, what, what change, what, I mean, was it just a little tweaky thing, or was it a big change? Um, some of our releases were relatively small, mm -hmm. but they were important. One of the releases, all I did was change the time at which different things happened mm -hmm. so that it generates less noise to interfere with the audio less. On the other hand, some of the releases, I completely rewrite a major section of the deck, like the up sampler is the most recent change. Mm -hmm. Another time, I doubled the internal sampling rate. And, you know, each, each time we're going to do a release, we have to figure out what we want to change. And then I just try to think of how I'm going to do that for a while. And with your input, with the input from the customers in the field, we decide what we're going to do. And Well, and, and I have to tell you, as, as one of the, the people on the listening session, when, when Ted sends us a new mountaintop to listen to, uh, Darren and myself get in the listening room and we start plugging in. And every single time it's like, holy crap, listen to this. I mean, it, this is, it's like... All of a sudden, it's wider, it's deeper, or it's shallower and narrow. I mean, it, it, it's totally different. It is truly something extraordinary to experience as a listener to go through all these variations, and then a lot of responsibility to pick the one that is what, going to be the actual release. One of the things that excites me personally about DirectStream and the FPGA inside is that the joy people express to us when they get to upgrade and add a new mountaintop and they've got an entirely new DAC. I mean, people write volumes about, oh my God, I never knew this existed, never. I mean, that's got to make you feel great as well. I know I've done something new and useful when I can't stop listening to the music and I have to go play all these things I've played before because I'm hearing new things I never heard. If any given customer, for whatever reason, doesn't like one of these, they just keep whatever they had before. So nobody loses anything, but almost always, most people get a whole new experience. So the latest release that we have, Wyndham, it's not as big a change as it was with, uh, what was the last Snowmass. one? Snowmass. But I gotta tell you, from a listening standpoint, all of a sudden, there's a richness and a fullness to the tonality that I, I didn't know existed. And as soon as we put Wyndham on, it's like, oh my God, jaws dropping again. And this is pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, and I have to confess that I didn't really expect that degree of change. <laughs> yeah. my, my real goal was to, to take some of the changes we made to go from here on to Red Cloud, and push on them a little harder, and then to take some of the changes we made for Snowmass and push on those a little harder. Over time, you learn more. You learn what's not important so you can throw it away. And I was just trying to polish, if you will, the last few releases. And I added one other idea that you and I discussed a couple of years ago, yep. and it just seemed like a good idea at the time. And it takes advantage of some features in the hardware I wasn't using. And somehow out of the mix of all of those, we got that richness. I was just expecting more black background, quieter noise floor, those always work. Yep, but I think we were all just gobsmacked. And I, I called Ted and said, it's rich, it's full. He go, you were as surprised as we were. Yeah, I was, I knew I liked listening. Well, yeah, and as a listener, I gotta tell you, it solves one of the 
tiny weaknesses that Snowmass had. And, you know, some people complained that Snowmass is the, the greatest thing they ever heard, but if anything, it could be just a little less lean. And all of a sudden, we've got everything Snowmass had. And with Wyndham, there is a richness and a fullness that is just, it, it's extraordinary. And, and I know we had talked about this before. You hadn't really planned on doing that. So for, for me, this was like manna from heaven. This was as fortuitous as it gets. Well, it's just rich. I don't know what the next releases are going to sound like, but I, I do know that we'll keep making strides like this. I, I, I do as well. And, and, and I, I think just working with everybody and letting you know how this process works and the people behind it's really important. And any excuse to be up here in the mountains, <laughs> good enough for me. Anyway, Ted, thank you. Thanks, Paul. And thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll talk to you later. <laughs>